Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Averin at Tea Review and 2. Welcome to my channel where I do reviews, tutorials, and tea hauls and unboxings. Today I'm going to show you how I cold brew loose leaf tea and the items you'll need. Filtered water from a pitcher, faucet, or refrigerator, however you filter your water. And it's very important that you use filtered water. Then you'll need tea. And then you'll need a tablespoon or some form of measuring a tablespoon. And I like to have some type of scale so you can measure out the water that you're using. And a pitcher with an infuser. And this one is a BPA free plastic pitcher with a fine mesh infuser. And you want something that has a lid on it that closes as tight as possible. It will keep it airlocked. And the other pitcher that I'm going to use is made of glass with a stainless steel infuser and a lid that keeps it airtight as well. And typically I use one tablespoon of tea per eight ounces of water, which is a cup. For the batch with this pitcher, I'm going to use 48 ounces of water. So I'll be using six tablespoons of tea. After putting the tea in the infuser, pour your water into the pitcher and through the infuser. And after you've poured the water in, place the lid back on your pitcher as tight as possible and then put it in the refrigerator towards the back. Now I like to let my cold brews steep for 10 to 12 hours in the refrigerator because it's easier to make a strong tea weaker by adding more water than to make a weak tea stronger. And now that our green tea blend is in the refrigerator, we're going to move on to our next batch, which is going to be a oolong tea blend. And for this one, we're going to use 32 ounces of filtered water. And we're still going by the one tablespoon per eight ounces of water. So we're going to use four total tablespoons of loose leaf tea for this one. And same process, even though it's a different pitcher, we're going to get the tablespoons of tea and the infuser and then pour the filtered water into the pitcher through the infuser, put the lid back on snug and into the refrigerator towards the back if possible. All right, and it's been about 12 hours, so we've got the cold brew out of the refrigerator. And look at those pitchers of tea. On the left is a green tea blend with guava, pineapple, gaba green tea, green tea, papaya, coconut rasp, orange peel, orange blossoms, red currants, safflower blossoms, and natural guava flavoring. And the tea that's on the right is a oolong tea blend with oolong tea, goji berries, ginger, marigold blossoms, ginseng, natural honey, and goji berry flavoring. And lastly, after you take your cold brew out of the refrigerator, you know, you take off the lid, pull the infuser up, and let the rest of that tea just flow into the pitcher. That's goodness right there. That's more flavor. You're gonna want that. Let that go. You can even squeeze some in there. If you don't notice much liquid coming from the infuser, just push something in there to kind of squeeze some of it out right there. In these instances, I didn't have that issue with either one of these, but if you do, it's perfectly fine to do that. You're not gonna release any bitterness because the way that the cold brew infuses the tea is different than when you're infusing it with hot water. There's going to be minimal or none at all when it comes to bitterness and astringency in a cold brew. And it's going to just get different flavor notes on it. You're going to notice maybe a little bit more sweetness, more smoothness to the tea. And definitely experiment with how you want to make your cold brews. You may want to use less tea or you may want to use more tea. You may want to let it infuse shorter amounts of time or longer amounts of time. You know, it's just up to you. You know, different teas, you might want to do something different with them depending on the blends or whatnot. And I wasn't for sure how long cold brew would stay good in the refrigerator, but I've read online three to five days and four to five days. So we'll say three to five days would be the amount of time that a cold brew would be good in the refrigerator. But I have no problem in drinking a pitcher in three days. So, <laughs> all right. And that is it with the tutorial, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. You have an awesome day. Enjoy that cup of tea you're drinking. Take care.